today we're going to go over four simple steps to be able to speak English as quickly as possible. Here we go. Step number one, you need to put an emphasis on vocabulary. What do I mean by this? You need to really work your active vocabulary and not just your passive vocabulary. Your active vocabulary refers to the words that you actually use and apply in real life. Your passive vocabulary is referring to words that you can understand fairly easily, but you never use when you speak or when you write, type, or text. Now, vocabulary is the foundation for learning English. This isn't just for speaking English, but it's for all of the other skills as well, too. Without vocabulary, you wouldn't even be able to understand most of the words that I'm saying in this video. I would say that it's crucial to start with vocabulary as this is going to be the bedrock and foundation for the next skills that you should be focusing on, which leads me to step number two. You need to focus on your grammar. Now, I know this sounds really daunting to some people and people may have a misconception of what English grammar is and how much of it you really need to study. In order to speak English fluently, you do not need to have superhuman levels of English grammar. It does not need to be super advanced. You can really just know basic English grammar and know the basics really well. With English grammar, you can really keep it simple. You should be able to know how to use words in the future tense, the past tense, and the current tense. For example, I'm going to go do something, or I am currently doing something, or I did something. You should also know very common phrasal verbs, such as I'm going to go lie down, or I'm going to get up. Just by knowing basic grammatical rules like this and understanding how they differ from your native language will take you a really long way when it comes to learning how to speak proficiently in the English language. And this leads to the next step, which is putting an emphasis on your writing skills, or in this case, typing and texting in 2024. Now, when you write, type, or text, you really need to think a little bit critically and form opinions and form thoughts when you're expressing yourself in a written form. By focusing on expressing yourself and forming opinions, this will also translate into expressing yourself and forming opinions when you speak as well. By developing this side of your brain or the English part of your brain, it's going to translate into the other skills of English as well. Every single time that you have the opportunity to practice writing, typing, texting, or even reading, you should also try to practice speaking out loud as you're doing it so you can work on both skills simultaneously. This leads to the fourth and final step, which is an emphasis on your pronunciation skills. Now, when it comes to English pronunciation, this is where it can get just a little bit more complicated. Pronunciation is even something that people at the C1 or advanced levels of English still struggle with. There are many different accents and forms of pronunciation within the English language. This is even the case within English-speaking countries such as the United States of America, Canada, and England. It's crucial that you focus on the type of pronunciation that you're going to use most of the time throughout your life. The most simple way to improve your pronunciation is simply just by using the shadowing technique. You can use this by consuming English videos or English media in your target accent. As you're listening to someone say something, you can simply repeat it as you're moving along with the English media or the English video. It is also very easy to practice your pronunciation simply by reading things aloud whenever you have the opportunity. As simple as these methods are, they're often overlooked and forgotten about by English learners because it is a little bit more uncomfortable and it is a little bit more un natural to practice these skills spontaneously. Your pronunciation does not have to be perfect, but it does need to be good enough that you can be understood easily by native English speakers. There are also several free applications out there that you can use to actually practice your English pronunciation. I recommend doing research on those applications as well, especially if it feels too unnatural or too uncomfortable for you to use the shadowing technique or simply reading things aloud. So to recap, the four simple steps would be to put an emphasis on 
on your vocabulary, which will lead you to being able to practice your grammar, which will lead you to being able to practice your writing, typing, and texting skills, which will then translate into you being able to focus on your pronunciation and actually physically practicing to speak in the English language. If you follow these four simple steps, speaking English will definitely feel natural to you over time if you stay consistent. Even if you do this for less than an hour or even 15 minutes per day, these small sessions, practicing your pronunciation and practicing your speaking skills and the other skills that are relevant to speaking will definitely compound over time to the point where you'll become a natural when it comes to speaking English. Any questions, comments, concerns, simply leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next video.